We designed Solid as a rewarding experience for core Solana users in the form of physical products. Solid's first product will be premium phone cases for the Solana seeker. But we wanted to demonstrate what's possible with the definitive Web3 accessory. That's why we have the crazy idea of grabbing a case, putting it on the phone and sending it up to space. But that wasn't enough for us. We wanted to take it a step further and perform the first Solana blockchain transaction in space. We already have the cases ready. Stay solid and let's find out. We work in a space that's always looking to customize and personalize, you know, we're big collectors. So having premium cases that sort of go along with our identity and some of the brands that we'd like to support and represent, you know, I'm a fan. I love the, the quality on them. When you feel it, it feels premium, you know, you have the, the raised text and the colors really pop out. It's easily recognizable for anyone that works in this space. And it's uh, something that I think uh, everyone would be proud to show off. Gentlemen, Dominic, Hello, Benny, how a nice pleasure to meet you. Well, Solid Team, pleasure to have you here, and I believe we have a very exciting project at hand here. Tell me, what's the main objective here, guys? To grab this case and send it out to space. We wanted to take it a step further, and with the phone that we are sending um, into space, we want to perform the first Solana blockchain transaction up in space. There is a lot of challenges, low temperatures, low pressures, all of those things are going to affect everything from the electronics to the communications to the physical materials as well. So even the devices we're going to use to interact with the phone, those textures are going to be different in space. It's going to feel different on the screen, so we don't know for sure if it's going to work. But we've been doing our testing, we've got our satellite communications, all prepped, primary, secondary, tertiary, all redundancy. I think we've got a good chance. So what you're proposing then is you want to design a mechanical interface to effect the transaction. I think so. Do you think your phone case is up to uh, protecting the phone and having it survive the mission? Yeah, we are confident in the quality, so that's how we designed it. <laughs> it will protect the phone. We're excited. We're equally nervous because there's a lot of bespoke technology going into this one. There's a lot of things that we'll be utilizing, designing and executing for the first time. So it's going to be a mission that we all enjoy ultimately, but I'm excited and I think we'll get there. So we've got Craft here with two phones. Reason for that, we want to show off the phone, the activations, you know, the transaction, but we also want to show off the case. One of the unique challenges of this one is we're trying to use you know, a genuine phone. It has its own batteries, which again is designed to work on the ground. We're thinking about airflow and making sure we can moderate that heat correctly, transfer that heat, move it around, and make sure that the battery voltages don't pop too low. We've got a series of motors, lead screws, you know, bearings, all these sort of things. But again, these are typically designed for Earth. So we've developed some systems which are going to monitor the GPS, monitor altitude, figure out exactly its position. When we get to that peak altitude, when we cross all of those thresholds into space, into near space. So with these two crafts, we've got a complex series of mechanical actuations. Man, there's a lot of variables at play here you've outlined. What makes you most nervous about this flight? I'm most nervous. We're using technology we've built in-house, but for example, the phones. There's variables at play there that I'm not able to control. But probably the communications as well. We're combining you know, radio communications, satellite communications. We've got four different systems there, making sure that that is always going to be robust through the full flight. So today you join us to complete the world's first Solana blockchain transaction in space, sending bonk tokens from space to Earth by the Soulfly wallet. kilometer away from the trigger altitude. When we are 
are 40 seconds away. So cross everything, guys. Five seconds, guys. Four, three, two, one. Green check sub. Oh, oh, my God. God. oh my God. <laughs>